top local story. Two self-proclaimed theft victims are now in trouble with the law themselves. The pair said they were robbed, but now police say they're both fraud suspects who are now facing criminal charges. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nwosu joins us now with the details. Well, both victims turned suspects face felony and misdemeanor charges, but one of the suspects says he's innocent and his business partner is to blame. In September, Gem Auto Care was just one of the businesses here in Coventry targeted in a rash of break-ins and thefts. Glenn Mead and Rennie Choquette were the victims, but last week the victims became the suspects, both charged with two felony counts of obtaining money under false pretenses, two counts insurance fraud, and two counts conspiracy. Coventry police will not say if the charges stem from the robbery, but they say they were investigating the robbery when the men were charged. When we walked into Gem Auto Care today, Glenn Mead told us Choquette, who was also his business partner, included some false information in the police report. The real guy that broke in here did steal, and Rainey got here two and a half hours before I did, and apparently he loaded his truck up with the rest of my tools. Eyewitness News did some digging and found that Choquette has a criminal history of fraud and embezzlement. Mead says he also thinks his former partner stole from the shop before these charges were filed. Do you feel betrayed by him? Oh yeah, I most certainly do. So I have since gotten rid of him as a partner and I'm trying to recover everything from my business because there's still some of my tools missing. Now, David Sinkowitz was charged with the initial break-ins and robberies. Those charges still stand. As for Meade, he plans to file a civil suit against his former partner. Nick Onwosu, Eyewitness News.